One of your most frequently asked questions about getting started in the laundromat business is, what makes for a good location? I have this dream of being in the laundromat business, I want to build one, I want to buy one, but how do I know if it's a good location? And you're right, it's very much location dependent. This is not sort of a general location or general retail. You really need to be located very close in to where your core customers are located. People aren't going to travel too far uh, to do their laundry. It's one of those weekly repetitive chores or errands. You got to make sure that you're close to the customers. So with that in mind, let's go through a couple of things that I think make for a good location, at least in terms of things that you ought to be analyzing. So first and foremost, let's talk about demographics. This is the raw data. Drop a pin on the map, look at a half mile, a mile, a two mile radius. And the generic information, the raw information that's coming is who lives there. So that's everything from the number of households to uh, the persons per households, renter versus owner occupied households, and it gets granular in terms of car ownership and the age of the building and, and just you could have 50 or 60 different data points. But an analysis of that raw demographics is really important in trying to determine whether or not this is a good location. And of all those crazy data points, the things that I would focus on uh, would really be the renter versus owner occupied, right? Renters more likely to use our service. Uh, persons per household, the more people, the more dirty clothes. And household income. And because, you know, generally speaking, the lower the income at the household, the more likely they can't afford or don't have access to their own washer dryer. So step one, take a look at the raw demographics. The next step in determining whether it's a good location is to try to answer this very important question. Where is everyone doing their laundry now? Right? Laundry gets done, rain or shine, good times and bad. All that laundry is getting done somewhere this week. And the more you can get some sense of where that laundry is being accomplished, the more you get a better sense of if there's an opportunity for you to join that mix with a new location or if an opportunity to grow with an existing location that you acquire. So where are they doing it now? A good way to ascertain that is to get out and visit. Put a load of laundry in your car, drive around, do your laundry in five or 10 or 20 or 50 different laundromats. And especially if close into your own market where you think you might be in the business yourself, start to get an inventory, you know, start to get the data set together. So how many parking spaces, how many machines, what are their vent prices, is the store clean or is it not clean? Start to build your kind of dossier of each of these locations locally and get a better understanding of where people are doing their laundry now. That's going to really help you evaluate your location going forward. And let's not forget the apartments. Uh, vended laundry equipment, most of that is going into the apartment setting. So the extent to which you can understand, are there laundry equipment uh, present in those apartment settings? Is it brand new equipment? Is it old equipment? Is there a washer dryer in every unit? Those are the things you're gonna wanna try to figure out for yourself and get a better sense of whether or not you're on the right track for finding a good location. Uh, I think the next thing I want to share about determining whether or not this is a good location is sort of the physical aspects. So things like visibility to the street, how the signage appears to traffic coming in either direction. Uh, can you be found? You know, this would be like the difference between being in an end cap where everyone can see you or being in the elbow uh, of a center where you have very little frontage and your store is tucked in there. Those are the kind of things you want to look for. Uh, is there easy ingress and egress? Do you have to take a wicked left turn to get into that business or is it an easy right turn you pull right in? Uh, is the parking uh, way far away or is it right up to the front door? You know, so just start to think through the physical aspects of the location and naturally that comes after the raw demographic analysis and an evaluation of the competition in the area and where people are doing their laundry now but then you need to start to look at the physical space itself. Is this right? for a laundromat. So everyone asks, is this a good location? Those are three things you can look at to help uh, determine whether or not this is the best location for your laundromat. So thanks for joining us at Laundromat FAQ, and we'll see you next time.